Okay, so I have a little extra time to crack open another bin. Let's go ahead and take a look and see what we find today. Already there is something, I don't know what it is. Um, I mean, I, okay, I think it has something to do with beading and jewelry making. So if y'all know, let me know in the comments. Um, we have a box here full of empty CD cases. Well, that's that's not super exciting. I mean, the other ones sold pretty quickly, but they had like the magnetized um, piece in there already so that you could just put your dies, but maybe somebody will still want those. We've got a couple of bins. This one says EK Hand Punch, and it is heavy. <laughs> it's pretty heavy. Oh, okay. It's all just a bunch of paper punches. I probably could have figured that. There is some Fiskars. These are pretty cool. I have like a really small collection of paper punches, but I don't use them super often. They are great for sentiments and such, but for big pieces like this, I usually just use my Cricut. I know a lot of people really like the punches though. They are a pretty good seller at the shop. And this is a very exciting to find all of these. If you are new here, my name is Stephanie. I own a secondhand art and craft supply shop in Tampa Bay, Florida. And I recently purchased an 80 year old lady's entire collection of craft supplies. I mean, we're talking five rooms full of her house. It was a lot. We literally had to get a U-Haul to bring everything back to our shop. And there's 50 bins, maybe more um, in total. I don't know if you can see that one. So we are unbinning them one at a time. And this is bin number, I don't, I don't even know, 22, I believe, 22. Oh my gosh, that one's really cute. You probably can't see it, but it's got like little hearts on it. Very, very adorable. I got this one as well. And every day is like Christmas, uh, partly because a lot of these bins have Christmas items in them and partly because it's a treasure hunt and I get to find new toys every single day. <laughs> what is this? It says it's from Marshall's lemongrass fragrance drawer liners. Wait, they're drawer liners that are flavored, flavored, <laughs> don't need them, scented like lemongrass. I can't really smell them very well, but that's kind of cool. All right, there's two more, two more shoe boxes in here. This one says notes, done, card blanks, and A2 envelopes. So does that mean these are done, like used? No, I don't think so. Look, oh my gosh, that actually looks like my kitty Sheldon. He's got a little bit more black on his face. He's got more like a, a Batman mask thing going on, but um, I love kitties very, very much. I'm obsessed. I've got two. Um, I've also got one named Finn, and Finn is more of a, he's a white kitty, and he's got like some tabby patches on him. He's really, really cute. He looks like a little pixie. He's got like a cute little pink nose. I love my voice very much. It was very hard to leave them this morning. I, I was excited to get into work and crack open another bin, but also, you know, there's those days where you just want to lay in bed and cuddle with your cats all day. And today was definitely one of those days, but I've got some work to do. So here I am. Um, these are all just blank cards. Looks like they've never been used. So that's pretty cool. Nice little find here. I'm a card maker myself, so I always um, enjoy and appreciate seeing things like this. These are definitely smaller than the cards that I normally make, though. I do the five by sevens, but ooh, metallic envelopes. She's had a lot of metallic envelopes. That's really fun, though. I like that. My cards are usually like really 3D. I use a lot of paper flower elements, so I don't really include envelopes with them. They're really meant to be hand delivered or put into a package. But I do have an envelope maker as well where I can like make my own and make it as thick as I need it. But yeah, it's a lot of work, so I usually don't really bother. <laughs> All right, that's just a bunch of blank pieces of cardstock. Some of these bins are a little dusty, <laughs> so don't mind me if I'm just like, oh. <laughs> Pulling, pulling dust out of the air. Um, there's Bob here to say hello in a bin of red cardstock. What else is in here? Um, oh, okay. So yeah, this is literally you. It's perforated, perforated, perforated. You fold it in half right on the crease and you make your own cards out of these. So that is a great find as well. And these have a little cutout already. Um, it looks like they came that way though, but that's really, really pretty. There's a ton more envelopes in here as well. What else do we got? Personal stamp exchange, stationery for stamping. Ooh, I like that. It's like a very soft, pale, pretty color. If you can't tell, I love the color pink. Just take a look at my background. Well, it's pretty rainbow, but I like pinks, pinks and rainbows. So we just started this really cool new thing at our shop, bottom of the bin. Um, if you are local, we have introduced the bin of the day. So as I'm opening these bins, we will have a 
special new section in our shop where you can shop the contents for two days. So whatever day um, the unbinning is posted, you will have oops, <laughs> the next two days, the following two days to come shop the contents in a special section of our shop. And then from there, whatever is left over, we'll decide what's gonna get filtered through the shop if we have room, what's gonna end up going on eBay, and what's gonna end up going back into storage until we have more room for it. So you can keep an eye on our Facebook page for photos so you see exactly what's coming up. Links to our Facebook and eBay and everything else can be found at bottomofthebin.com. So this one's just all a bunch more plain cardstock and some pretty scalloped envelopes. I think this was kind of a short one, so I'm gonna grab some more stuff and I will be right back. Oh wait, stamp and write heart cards. That's really, really cute. Okay, we're gonna call this a bonus bin, mainly because it was with her bins, but it doesn't look like the others, um, the way that it's packed. So I'm not 100% sure if this was something that was just put in the wrong section or if it was actually from this collection. So again, we're just gonna call it a bonus bin and see what's in here. Uh, the, the tag here like kind of threw me off. I was like, wait, none of her stuff had price labels on it. But this is a Crafter's Companion and it is um, more of a guillotine paper trimmer. So that's kind of cool. I personally don't like those kinds, but I know a lot of people swear by them. We have some vellum inserts in here, which is ooh really pretty. Just some like little vellum paper with, oh man, you can't see it on camera very well. It's just got cute borders around it. There is a ton of Anna Griffin embossing folders, which are super cool. And these texture plates that have like the little sentiments, we actually sell a lot of these on eBay, so they'll probably go straight there after the in-store unbinning. I guess we're calling it like an unveiling. <laughs> uh, there's some more Anna Griffin plates, and those just emboss like really cool textures on paper using a die cutting or embossing machine, which I do have a separate video on. Ooh, okay, this one, this one, I think I need this to make some cards for the shop because it is super cute. It says, we go together like hot chocolate, and it is a damp damp a stamp and die set which i'm currently obsessed with and i made some really cute little hot cocoa christmas cards that sold really well in the shop last year so this is just like a nice any occasion one we also have a <laughs> gingerbread boy fold and cut that's cute not a huge fan of christmas do like gingerbread men but i will pass on this one we also have some stamping up so stamping up also does really well in our shop looks like there's a few in here um, I've never seen them in the big cases like this though. So this one says thanks, happy birthday, favorite ones in here. There is a few of these boxes. Oh, okay, this just has some <laughs> random wooden stamps in here. Wait, it says it's a kit. You can create your own custom embossing folders using a Cricut. So they're blank and you can Cricut onto them. That's really cool. I have not seen or used these before. Uh, I think someone will be really excited to find that. We do have some more stamping up stamps here. This one's really cute. It has like the little build your own cupcake. Oh, this is so cute. It's like little baby animals. There's an owl, giraffe, monkey, turtle, lion, and some pretty flowers. Oh no, I can't tell if those are missing or if they're just in there funny, but those are really cute. More flowers. We have a ton of little quick cut dies. One says welcome baby happy birthday and for you fabulous work of art and it's got some little paint swatches that one's super cute as well because i care thank you for being you and hearts for friends we have some more flowers and a birdie oh this is really pretty as well look at that big beautiful rose that's gorgeous i would love to like watercolor in that little tiny stamps more flowers and more flowers. I mean, I swear, I am addicted to florals, floral paper, floral stamps, floral dyes. So a lot of this is super, super cool to see. There's some more quick cut cuts, um, a heart and a cuddle bug party. Oh, this is pretty. It's like one of those um, pop-up cards. I really need to learn how to make these. This is really pretty. Oh my gosh. It's a violin cauliflower corner oh, cute little Christmas set with some cute animals it's kind of hard to see but there is like a little um a mouse maybe a hedgehog of some sort there's a pop-up card that says hope this one says there are friends there is family then there are friends that become family very cute have a beautiful day you are blooming fabulous friendship is a flower that blooms all seasons very pretty Oh, in a 3D embossing folder, it says the flower doesn't dream of the bee. It blooms and the bee comes. Very nice saying. That'll do it for bin number 22. There's over 50. Make sure to follow or subscribe so you don't miss the next unbidding.